For the past two to three months, I have not taken a single photo on my camera. And I feel like I have writer's block, or photographer's block, where I feel like I've just got a blank page in front of me and I don't know where to start or what to do. And this freaks me out because I've been a photographer, professional photographer for over 10 years. And my goal is just to get out locally and just, just to try and break that block because it's driving me crazy. So because this place is free to come to, it usually gets packed in the summer. But in the winter, you can get it to yourself. So it's a nice spot to come if you just want to get out and get some fresh air and even take some photos. Um, highly recommend checking out. It's called Lynn Canyon. This is Lynn Canyon Suspension Bridge. So behind me, you see the bridge leads up into the trees. It looks super, super beautiful. I was hoping for maybe a little bit more fog, um, but it comes in and out as the weather changes. And I think the uh, cloud layer is supposed to come down today and there's supposed to be an inversion. So hoping that pays off just by uh, just being out here and shooting. So we'll see. I cannot even begin to tell you how freaking good it feels to be out shooting again. I just picked up the Canon RF 15 to 35, which I'm shooting on right now. And it's such a nice lens. So it's good to get out and practice with it before I go away on my trip next week. But also it's just nice to be outside. It's not raining. This winter hasn't been the worst in Vancouver, um, but I still struggle with sticking around and not taking some trips and uh, getting out into some warm weather because Vancouver's pretty gloomy for uh, five to six months of the year and then it's the opposite the rest of the year. I know whenever I get into this situation taking time away from photography and listening to music, reading a good book, getting out into nature, those kind of things help me get out of the rut or at least get my head in the right space and then it's getting back out to photographing things that can be really tricky because I feel like you've got this blank canvas this empty page in front of you and it's putting that first word down making that first paint stroke, paint stroke that uh, can be really really challenging at least for me anyway so this is that paint stroke for me this is me getting out taking some photos forcing myself to be creative slow down I've got the whole day, I'm going to take a few days extra and go to some other places and just create, create for myself. So I'm hiking down the trail and come across this tree and look up at it and kind of curious what's going on, what could have caused this, was it a person or an animal and it's caused quite a mess down there and then as I turn around the other side of the tree you can see a little woodpecker just going to town on the trunk there. I assume it's a woodpecker. I don't really know. I don't know birds, but I think it is and it's pretty cool. Made it back to my car. Now I don't think I got anything, you know, portfolio worthy while I was out shooting today. Um, you know, that's always the ultimate goal, but I really did get out and shoot some really nice stuff, push myself creatively, and just got outside. It was really nice. I think this helped a lot with getting out this creative rut, 
and over the next few days I'm going to check out a couple of other Vancouver spots, more lower mainland spots, just to try and push myself as well and uh, hopefully replicate that same feeling that I got today, just getting out shooting again, ready so I can go away next week and have that creative muscle just flexed already. Good morning from Golden Ears Provincial Park. It's about an hour outside of Vancouver. I woke up way too early, I think at like 4.45 this morning. Drove an hour out here. Been watching the weather closely for this location because if you time it right, just after some rainfall on a cold morning and a sunny day, you get these, uh, these fog rays. So that's what I'm here for. I'm hoping I'll get it. It's looking promising, it's clear skies, I see the fog and I'm about to head into the forest. So you can see the fog is slowly drifting in behind me and what I'm hoping happens in the next 10 to 15 minutes sun comes up and it casts these crazy light rays lighting up the fog creating these shadows across the trees and it lights up this entire forest so beautifully I've shot it once before but it was for a brand and I never had the opportunity to shoot it for myself so I'm excited to see what I can get this morning and fingers crossed it happens I was on my way back to the car and all of a sudden the fog got really thick and the light beams started coming through in the best part of the forest and it, honestly it was some of the best light beams I've ever seen here. Uh, I had all my camera gear packed away so I had to unpack everything, fired off a few photos, got some video footage and honestly it was so so beautiful. Um, you know one of the hardest things about shooting here is that the sun is constantly moving and so the shadows and the light beams are constantly changing. So you've, as soon as you set up for one shot, it's changed already. So you've got to really be on your A-game to shoot and just constantly adapt with the conditions every few seconds. It is chilly out there this morning. Minus one Celsius, which I think is 30 Fahrenheit. I don't know Fahrenheit, so I might be wrong. Warm up in the car for a little bit, then head out to um, Alouette Lake behind me. It's looking really beautiful. It's actually a really sunny day here, which is a change. And uh, I'm gonna dig, in, dig into some granola now, because I am hungry. So the last place that I've got on my list to shoot is Lighthouse Park. It's just outside of Vancouver, about 15 minutes from my house. And uh, based on this weather, we should get a really, really nice sunset. It's right on the ocean. There's, uh, it's a beautiful rocky area. I'm hopeful that we'll get really colorful skies. So my plans for this evening didn't really go according to what I thought was gonna happen. I was gonna go to Lighthouse Park and shoot sunset there, but it's rush hour and there was 
from two traffic accidents. So I bailed on that idea. It was going to take me an hour to get there. Instead, I've come to a place called Spanish Banks, and I've lived here in Vancouver for six years, and I've never been here before. So I'm going to take some photos around here. It's low tide, and there's some really cool tide pools with the mountains and the city in the background. So I'm going to go and take some photos of those. I cannot believe how insane this sunset is. Check out the colors over Vancouver right now. I wasn't expecting it to light up this nicely. Um, and I got some cool photos. I'm liking some of the foreground around here, like the uh, textures in the sand and the reflections in some of the pools of water here. Um, got some cool photos of the city and the mountains, stuff I've never shot before. So it's kind of nice to have that to play around with for once. I have absolutely loved these past few days shooting around Vancouver. It's so nice just to be outside again with my camera in my hand, doing what I love. And I may not have got anything portfolio worthy out of it, but I definitely got some really pretty photographs that I'm excited to edit and share. I also learned one other thing about myself these past few days and something I've been thinking about for the past couple of months really, and that's that I'm somebody that likes to be challenged. And if I'm not challenged, there's not enough drive there for me to put all of myself into it, 100% of me. So I think uh, that applies actually in, in all aspects of my life, whether it's food, fitness, personal life, but particularly photography, because if there's a client there, I'm 100% passionate because there's a challenge of shooting for a brand, for a client. But when it comes to shooting for myself, there's very little drive or passion there because I'm not challenging myself enough so one thing I'm going to commit to doing this year and hopefully this will challenge me is that I want to create 12 YouTube videos one per month I'm a little late because it's already February and commit to myself to telling stories of my travels my adventures and sharing those with you guys so hopefully you enjoy them